I remember her. Every day I remember her. Her gaze which made my heart pump. But my blood ran cold. Her touch. It was three or four years ago. I was struggling to come up with money to pay the rent. My art wasn't selling and I felt so... alone. I had no money so I couldn't eat. I would often pass out from hunger. My art was suffering. I had no inspiration. Oh, how I prayed. But little did I know, my prayers would come true in a way I never imagined possible. It was late at night when it happened, around one in the morning. A loud sound woke me up, like the sound of wind chimes, but much louder. I sat up but couldn't seem to get out of my bed, as if some force was forbidding it. A freezing cold fog started blowing into my room from the crack of the door. My heart sped up as some sort of apparition appeared before me. It was a pale girl, floating, about a foot above the ground. The darkness of her face was only outshone by the glow from her halo. She was beautiful, but I felt weird. Why was she here? What did she want? Just as I had thought, she looked directly at me, her face hidden by her long locks of brunette hair. She moved closer, and my heart slowed down. I started having some trouble breathing. She began reaching for my arm. I could feel how cold her skin was from a yard away. It was like ice. But when she grabbed my hand, severe pain rent through my body. It burned. I could feel my skin glow hot and blister as she continued to grip my hand. I struggled, but she wouldn't let go. With her free hand, she slowly parted her hair. And what I saw was a traumatizing image. I screamed. She had no face, no blood. No scars, just smooth flesh. This was no angel. I don't know what it is, but it certainly wasn't holy. If anything, it was demonic, but I just didn't know. She leaned her head next to mine, her cold head brushing against my face, and I heard a whisper. Her voice was so sweet. She whispered, Only after death can we be together again. After that, I heard her let out a chuckle. <laughs> I closed my eyes tight out of fear. When I opened them, she was gone. I thought it was a dream, but it couldn't have been. I looked down at my arm to see the blisters she had left. The next morning, I woke up and drew on my sketch pad. All I could do was think about what happened. But the thought that kept coming back to me was, why I can't wait to see her again. <laughs>